welcome back to our show and uh, we are having a conversation about uh, there are people who expected to graduate with a first class but unfortunately maybe you graduated with a second class in the past and maybe just to echo to echo on what uh, my guest has said uh, you can graduate you know there is always something for everyone sure. no matter what you've graduated with there is always a place for you in the society and god has uh, and more so if you trust and believe in god there is just a place for you like let's say for example if god helps you and you graduate with the first class you may get a scholarship go abroad and you, you fulfill your career if you graduate even let's say with a second class upper or second class lower god may help you you may get a job get employed and you'll succeed mm. even when you graduate with a pass who knows god may give you a business idea yes. a, a very great business idea that will help you to make ends meet and even you may even be more successful than someone who graduated with a first class yes. so there is everything for everyone no matter what class yes. you've graduated with or what do you say man of god it is very true there mm. is a place mm. for everyone mm. and actually actually uh uh, it is very possible mm. to even not have gone to university, but employ mm. people that have been there. Mm. Uh, a famous rich man called Ono uh, Valibaba, Jack Ma. Mm. He says that uh, he, he, may, he may not be an expert in so many fields, mm. but since he has the idea, mm. he gets experts who are learned wow. and puts them together, they deliver for him, he gets the profits. Exactly. So Iran means that mm. even if you have not gone to university, mm. you can still thrive in life. Exactly. E even if you never you never had that opportunity mm. to go to school and maybe get that to graduate, mm. or you can hear people saying, "Oh, I have this degree in this and that." Mm. Well, in as much because our God is a God of everybody. Mm. He's the owner. He's the owner of the universe. Mm. There is a place that He has made for you. Mm. Identify it tore in that path, tarry in that path, and uh, it will soon mm. come. Mm. And once it is here, you will be glad that you walked that path. Mm. Sure. Okay, and man of God, yes. after the after you after you being in the village after graduation mm. and COVID happened and you decided to do some manual jobs yes. and you, you you took a jungle job. So what other step did you did you stay in the village or you decided how did you actually find yourself in Nairobi? Well I have it's an interesting story as for me. Mm -hmm. I usually say it is God because one time I woke up and I said enough is enough. Mm. Uh, I remember previously I told you that I I I, I got a Mjengo job in the local town. Mm -hmm. So I actually when I, I during that Mjengo I encountered some men who are welding mm. in the area mm. and they told me you know what we can offer you a job as a helper. Welding welding yeah, job. Yeah, welding job, metal mm. welding. So I'm um, now in the Mjengo, I'm I'm mm -hmm. na uh, na koroga simiti ya welding. Mm. Yes. So I'm um, next to that site where we were building, mm. there was another job ongoing. They were welding some metallic doors for a certain rich man there. Mm. So they told me, you know what? Mm. We want to carry you and go with you to town. To Nairobi. Yes, to town. Mm. I asked them which job do you do? They told me, you know what? Uh, we do we do welding and we are really, we have all that, all it takes. Mm. And I said, wow, mm. let me take my chance with these guys. You, they are total strangers. They are strangers. Actually, they are wow. jealous. Actually, wow. uh, it's Juma Engineering, if I may say that here. Mm. Yes. Mm. They offered me an opportunity and I said, ah, there's no problem. See, I have nothing else to do here. Mm. The good thing is that I had a little, I'd saved, I think, I had 500 in mm. my pocket that time. Wow. Mm. So I paid fair. I came up to Nilongo. Those people, their, yes. their, their office was in Nilong. No, not even an office. They had a side job oh. in Nilong. Mm. So I come the first day I've arrived. Mm -hmm. And they tell me, you know what? Come, let's see what you can do. I go there and they tell me, no, mm -mm, you, you are not free for that job. And then now within the site where they were working, mm. someone, a certain contractor, Ali Komechukwa job, they are tiles. Mm. He, tell, he tells me, ah, I'm going to get a job. Ah, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to Within the same site. Tiles. Yes, tiles job. Uh, uh. So I become a job. In the same, same site. Whereby they want to get a Windows, mm. grills, knees, go from mm. refus, I'm long bed sitters. Mm. So I was there and this contractor offers me a place. Mm. So I say, what? Okay, let me work here. Mm. Remember, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get In the morning, I'm going to get a place. So, I can get a job, I can get some money. Mm. 
I didn't have anywhere to rent, so I slept somewhere outside. Mm. Yes. With your clothes, your belongings. Yes, with my bag. Yeah. I had a bag. Mm. I'm a man. So I went in Kakana, so I flew in. I slept there. Outside? Well, yes, outside. Yes. They say Nairobi is Shambhala but mm. there's hope. There's hope. As long as we are with God, mm. even if you go... Bible says that even if you go through the waters, you go through the fires, you go through the I will be with you. Yeah. That's the confidence we have. I will even, never leave you nor forsake you. That's the confidence we have. Mm. Because it, I was a born again believer, but I was a tired of a certain situation. And a friend of mine recently told me that whenever you are in comfort, just know that you are not growing. Mm. Because growth is not a comfortable okay. process. Yeah. Mm. It's not comfortable. Mm. Because I sometimes sit down and imagine if I hadn't slept outside there, how would my life be today? Mm. So I'm in that job, Mjengo. I work there for three days. Then I met a friend of mine who was same in the campus. No. Yes. The same class. S not same class, mm. but he knew me. During that time, when I'm outside, he's mm. still in the university, mm. but they, they stay no longer. I contacted Wait. him. Wait. Yes. So you, you kept on working in that construction yes. site? Yes. Sleeping outside every night? Yes, for four days, something like that. Mm. I have nowhere to go. Mm. Come on. You don't know anyone in Nairobi? I don't know anyone. Well, I have I have relatives, but, but um, relatives are not they reliable. have disappointed before. Yeah. They have oh. disappointed before. Mm. And I'm afraid, mm. I will tell them I came here and I've been sleeping outside the Watasema home. Oh, yeah. So, mm. Mm. so what I did, I contacted this friend. Mm. Uh, I, and I happened, I don't know how I knew that he was in my long. I don't know. I don't know how. I think a friend of mine told me or something. Mm. I contacted him, he said, you know what, bro? I had a lot of money here. I had a lot of money in a single room. Mm. And then at least I had a lot of money in half. Did you have that money? I did not have. Mm. I did not have even... Actually, I remember I had around 1500. Mm. I had four days, every day I had around 650. Mm. Mm. And then I had to eat breakfast, lunch, and I had a lot of money. That's 1500. Iyo nye unalipo every day. Iyo nye unalipo every day. So kituanisha na bagi ya na kitu kama 400 or something or 380. So uliko na bagi ya kuweke kwa single room with what money? Yeah, iyo sasa. Iyo. It's called faith. It's called faith. So sometimes, I usually say, and my story is not even sad because I was not like, I was not sad about it. You know, right now, if you put me in that situation, I'll be starting panicking. Mm. Oh my God. Because right now, I, I can see that God has helped me. Yeah. But when I was there, I even wonder sometimes I could be chatting and smiling at the same time. I wonder. Mm. Because there's a way God gives you peace in your heart. Yeah. Because the when you... The peace that surpasses yes, all human understanding. When you're going through this external pressure, it worketh a greater weight of glory inside us. Mm. Outwardly, we are facing so many problems, but mm. inwardly, we are being built up. So um I got that friend actually so when nilikutana mm. naye it was on a Sunday I'll never forget So alikubali meet Yes mm. it was on a Sunday mm. I went to his place I was so that I remember forget, I was wearing oh. maybe a, I was oh my god if not never oh if not taken god. a shower yes you are working in a construction site Every day in the morning I get the I get to the construction site first so that I may at least get a place oh, whereby I can do shower. have shower. Mm. They call it passport. <laughs> For my friends who are James, you know uh, that. Mm. They call it passport. Mm. So I happened to do all that. And when I got with him, I explained my situation. At least, but I hid some. I, I didn't tell him the exact like things. It. And I'm very sorry, my friend, if you're watching me. Mm. May the Lord bless you. You help me. Oh, you are still, so, you still keep yes, in we touch. Yes, we're still in talk. Actually, right now he's in South Africa. Wow. Mm. So we talked, we talked, and um, he got me a blessed. I can itembeza. Faith stream lolongo. Still, I you haven't know. told him you don't have money. Uh, yes. So <laughs> when I got there, I saw the house. Mm. I called a cousin of mine. Oh. And I told him, Kuzo, Niko. Confident. How much was the house? Three. The house was 3,000 <laughs> and I had to pay deposit. Bed sitter? Yeah. Or... Be which bed sitter? Uh. Single room. Mm. I have no mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. nothing. Mm. So I am there. Only God. You only All have God. It's God and the, oh God. And the bag I have. Mm. So I got that house and uh, luckily my friend supplied me with a few belongings here, a curtain, like a sugar and everything. So mm. temporary, mm. I say, well, I have a place now. Mm. So I head back to the Mjengo the next day. I've slept there. Mm. No food, nothing to cook. I'm good. And so I am struggling. Mm. 
It's a struggle. Mm. And one thing I usually tell people, don't cry. Because maybe I am very sure if that time God gave me a salary of 40, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, today I will not be born again. Exactly. Exactly. Sometimes today I sit down and say, is this a challenge that I'm passing mm. with this kind of job? Mm. If that time God had given me this kind of money, Surely, would have I would have backslided. Yeah. Because I realized how shaky my faith was. Mm -hmm. How how I was, you know, I would decide, ah, I'm not going to church. And I was, earning, I was earning very little. Yeah. I was earning, actually, now, uh, I worked in that Mjengo site until I graduated. I became a fundi. Mm -hmm. what I, until today, I have not left that That was field. 20? That was in 2021. Mm. Yes. Still working in a construction yes. site. That Mjengo. Mm. So around 2021 there, 2021, I get 2021 August. In 2021 December, mm. I get a breakthrough. I'm called uh, somewhere mm. around town. Mm. So from that job, I'm called around somewhere in town. I get a job. A construction site again? Not a construction site, mm. but more of a corporate job, mm. which was more of an office job. Wow. Mm. I started doing so digital, breakthrough for digital marketing. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Actually, a friend yeah. connected me there. Yeah. We were we yeah. have been we worked with him. He was mm. a contractor. He knows he knows me until today. Mm. He contacted me and told me, Wana, I will send you somewhere. Mm. Go with your CV. Dress well. Mm. So when I arrived there, he told me, the CEO called me and actually today I've even texted her mm. and told her thank you. Wow. Because sometimes I sit down and I think if it were not for her, maybe mm. I would still be there. Yeah. But God worketh. God works. All it things. works. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I come to that place. I get a small interview. She asks me questions and can try with Janja Kidogo. Because sometimes you also have to package yourself mm. and you have to push forward. Mm. So I spoke in very complicated English. I gave it my all mm. because I, I know where I'm coming from. Yeah. And wow, that day. So your me, challenges pushed yes. you to. Yes. Mm. So she tells me, come, come tomorrow for work. Mm. And I negotiated for a salary of around 15,000. Mm. But she gave me around 20,000. Wow. Imagine. Yes. Mm. I negotiated for 15. She gave me that 20,000. And I worked there. I worked there for a few months. You're still living in Mlolongo. Yes, I'm living so in So from town? Yes. To, it's like you're working for from, the... It's industrial actually. Mm -hmm. So it's not really oh, deep in town. Yeah. So I'm living there. So I migrated from there. I went into pipeline. Mm -hmm. I started living there. And then I moved every step of the way. In that place is when I got an invite mm -hmm. for a more corporate job. Mm -hmm. I went. I worked in that company for three four more months. A better company saw me, they handpicked me from there, gave me a better salary in the company that I'm working with today. Mm -hmm. But I thank God because in every step of the way, mm -hmm. there's something that God is trying to teach you. Mm -hmm. And the quicker you get that lesson, the more you move forward. Mm -hmm. So one thing I thank God is that in as much as my journey is not as tough as maybe someone who is watching me today, mm -hmm. I may say that just sit and learn the lesson God is giving you. Mm -hmm. Do not cry every time out of depression. Sometimes, yes, I have sat down on roads in this town. I sat and cried along the road. Yes. Because yes. frustration, you almost gave up. You get, you get frustrated and mm. you've gone somewhere for an interview. I cannot count the amount of interviews I've been in. Mm. When I'm still working that Mujengo job. Mm. I remember sometimes I didn't have, I didn't have um, enough fare. Mm. And I had to walk to church. I walked until I go to church. Mm. And, and and I'm there, I'm seated and I'm telling God, why don't you just remember me? I pray, I pray. And I get so disappointed with God, sometimes you get, ah, why is this not happening? It's like prayers are not working. Yes. Mm. But sometimes you sit and you realize there's, there's something that God wants you to get. Mm. And most of the time when we are in the situation, we don't get it. Mm. We don't, we want to get out. Lord, I want to get out. Mm. But if we can only get the lesson, it will be easier for us. Mm. So I thank God because in, in as much as, as I struggled, mm -hmm. I, I knew that I was not alone. I was with God. Yeah. The best thing you can do for yourself is to make sure in that struggle, I am born again. I will do this the right way with God. Mm -hmm. And that one will give you so much peace, so much confidence. In as much as there will be those moments when you be feeling like, oh, I'm giving up. You will still wake up the next day and move. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, what a story. Yes. So currently, are you in the job of your dreams? Well, I may say that uh, I'm halfway there. Mm. 
uh, because I'm in the line of my career. Mm. And I thank God because the work that I do, it gives me a lot of peace and a flexibility. Mm. I'm able to do the work of God. Mm. And it has always been my dream mm. that I have a job that does not stress me to the extent that I cannot go to church. Mm. I cannot do the work of God the way I want. In as much as, yes, jobs are a little uh, clumsy and they may tend to take a lot of our times. Mm. I may say I'm halfway there. Mm. And we are trusting God for more and better mm. because it can only move from glory to, to glory. glory. It mm. says that the path of the righteous shall shine brighter and brighter and into a perfect, perfect day. day. Wow. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So you've been working, I think we've had a story yes. from moving for, from one job to another and all that. Sure. Is there any time in these jobs mm. as a young person that mm. you were confronted with a challenge whereby you are you almost compromised your faith, you know, mm. maybe giving bribes. Were you almost were, were, did you almost give a bribe to be employed or Ooh. give bribe in a, in a place God. or accepted bribe, Ooh, my you know? God, my God. Or you are required, you know, to compromise maybe to to be with someone. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. It has happened to me countless times. Mm. Number one with Mjengo. Mm. Do you know, I, I, I don't know whether you know uh, Mjengo sites. For them that have ever been to a Mjengo site, mm. whereby you are dealing with mafundi. Unajua there, ni watu wajua koka. And I must, I, I really pray that, that those people may know God. Amen. Because in as much as people trust that job, mm. it's a noble job. And if you look at the job spectrum in this country, mm. it's a job that has a very wide range of people. Mm. Very old, very young. Mm. And those people, they live in their own world. Mm. And maybe they feel like now that people look down on us, they see that we are dirty, we are useless. Even this building that we are seated in right now, mm. you know, it demanded that those people build it. So it's a noble job. It is not that it's bad. And I pray that one day, many of them will know God. Amen. And they are there who are pastors, like my contractor was a born again man. Oh, I yeah. thank God for him. Mm. Now, I have interacted with such people. And I can tell you for sure it's a challenging environment mm. because most of them, mm. they will listen to secular music. Oh, and you are born again in you that are, environment. You are born and maybe the fundi you are serving that, uh, 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 um, the, 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 the instruments to used to build, mm. maybe that person is not even born again. They abuse you. Oh my God. They trash you. So you are there and you are drained. Oh my God. Do I, I want to reply. Yes. Those situations happen. You also get to a place whereby, you know, I'm so desperate, I need a job. And, you know, you have a little money there, you have saved around 10K. And you go to an interview in a company and the, the person who is taking you tells you, you know what? Get me 10K, I get your job. Mm -hmm. And you have it. You know, you are looking for a job when you already have a job. <laughs> and But you are so desperate in the job, you, are, you want to get out. But there's a way here. You want to get this job. You know, I can tell you for sure. The thing that held me behind is that those people were asking for more money. I'll not oh. tell you, I will not tell you. I you are almost yes. compromising, almost Trust giving me. that bribe. Let me be open with you. Mm. Because it is so it is so daring mm. to the extent that you feel, wow, why? I just want a way out. Yeah. And it's a very bad situation to be in. Right now, what can yes. you tell a young person who is in that situation? Probably they don't have a job and they've been told, just bring 10,000, yes. we'll give you this job. What can you, looking back, mm -hmm. w w yes. when you're in that situation and you almost compromised but it mm. didn't happen, what can you tell them? Is it worth it? Honestly, I can tell you for sure mm. that in as much as it may seem as a way out, mm. I will start with the Bible. The Bible says that there's a way that seems right in the eyes of a man, mm. but, but its end is end, destruction. Yeah. That is the Bible. And the truth will remain to be this, that you gave a bribe to get this job. I have said, for my case, I thank God because I didn't have the money. Mm. Because God knew if I give him the money, he will bribe. Mm. Sometimes when you start this job, when you already have given off a bribe, you have to bribe every day to be to that To keep job. that job. It is like that. Mm. It's the same way as, as, as uh, some of my, our sisters do. Mm. If you ended up giving off yourself mm. to have that sleeping job, sleeping with the boss, sleeping with the boss, as they may maybe say, mm. or getting him to you give a favor. Mm. They, they, these days they quote it. Oh my God, they they clothe it with some sugar, mm. so you don't understand. Mm. If you do that to get that job, you will keep doing it mm. so that you keep the job. Mm. 
And I can tell you for sure, some of my friends who have who bribed to enter into jobs, mm -hmm. the day they stopped pleasing the boss, they lost that job. Mm -hmm. So it is better. So to you wait. are you, when you bribe, you are at their mercy. You are their their mercy mm -hmm. because you gave me money so that we enter into this job. I can mm -hmm. fire you anytime I want. Yeah, but when you trust God, you are purely at the mercy of God. So I have seen God every step of the way. Mm -hmm. I can tell you without no fear of contradiction mm -hmm. and with all the confidence I have, mm -hmm. it is possible to get a job without a genuinely, bribe. genuinely, just by praying and trusting God. Thank God because in this country we have CEOs and we have managers who are straightforward. We have managers who are born again. We have corporations that don't entertain such. Mm. We have corporations that people use the right channels. Yeah, man of God, maybe just yes. to cut you short, you remind me yes. of, uh, of my story, you know, mm. just after me, after completing my, my after graduating, actually. Mm. And I also didn't want to stay at home mm. because I, you know, home, you know, uh, when you stay in the village, you know, you become a villager. Very true. Yeah, you can even forget what you what you did in school. True. So I decided, let me, let me not just stay at home. Let mm. me come to Nairobi. So I came mm. and I stayed with my cousins and uh, the church I was worshipping. I met someone and that person told us, told me, you're, you're looking for a job. There is a, a, a company I know in the industrial area. Maybe I can take you. Just go see the boss because mm. I know the boss and maybe they can give you something. So I went there mm. and uh, because that the person who took me there was a person who knew the job, we were exempted all those processes and, uh, and, and I went to see the boss. And the boss told us, if you people need a job, there is only one thing. You people are very beautiful young ladies who are just from school. Sleep with me and tomorrow mm. you'll come. What? Imagine, tomorrow you'll come start that job. Mm. So, you know, it was a good deal because you're desperate. You're because desperate. You are, yeah, you are a lady and mm. you have needs. You have to, to, to make your hair. Look you have, you, you want to look good. Yeah, yes. yeah. You, you don't even have, you know, you, you have rent and bills to pay. Mm -hmm. And you also want to move forward. So it was a very tempting, tempting deal. And, yes. you know, someone can say, ah. Just, you know, let me just give this person 30 minutes or one hour of my time. Mm. Then I'll get this job. Yes. But I think it's at that place as a Christian, a young person in the marketplace, mm. just as the man of God said when we started, sure. you have to go yes. with your values yes. into the marketplace. Go with your values. Uh, mm. Don't not. Actually, the Bible says do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, mm. but be transformed in your mind. Mm. So anytime you're working, you carry that consciousness, I'm born again. Yeah. So anytime that situation or that uh, issue arises, mm. you remember, I am born again, mm. I won't do this. Mm. And imagine, the, you, you may seem like it is waiting. It, mm. uh, why am I waiting for this? It's taking too long. Mm. But trust me. It works. Yeah. It works. Mm. Every step of the way, as long as you're working with God, mm. Bible says that the good work God started in you, you surely bring it to accomplishment. Yeah. Mm. So God will bring it to accomplishment. Mm. You, you be faithful in your work with him. Mm. Be faithful in your work with him. Mm. Because imagine if you don't work with him mm. and you go, yes, you get that job. There mm. are them that there is that cloud and that success which may seem ah they are successful mm. and you get that job and you know you are that bank teller in that mm. big bank mm. in in those banks we know in kenya you're being paid well mm. but you you know you are mm. a sister and you slept to have this job mm. and then after some time you realize oh i am I, i'm sick yeah or and then and then you realize oh i have wasted my life mm. or you realize oh I was this born again sister. Now I cannot even get the guts to, to pray again. Mm. And you and you backslide and, and th things are coming to you because once you have ventured into that area, it opens you up to another possibility that you never knew existed. Yeah. So the best thing to do is to walk with the values of God because mm. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we think mm. we ask for or we can even imagine. Yeah, actually, you remind me of a scripture yes. in the Bible, in the book of Psalms. It says that do not be envious. Yes. Do not be envious on, on, on evil people when yes. they prosper yes. well, in evil ways. Like maybe you have your friends, you graduated with the same they year. They are doing wash wash. Imagine, yes. yeah, and they are succeeding. Oh my God, they are mm. driving the best cars you have. Mm. And then you are there, you're working on your food, mm. and you don't know what to do. You are like, oh my God, why don't I have this? Mm. I need this. I need to live in a bed, uh, in a bed or a one bedroom somewhere. Or in, in Kileleshwa. Kile yeah. Yes. Mm. And you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? In as much as you want to admire them, the Bible mm. says, as the woman of God has said, 
that do not admire them mm. <laughs> when they prosper in wickedness. Yeah, because they, they are in a slippery ground. Actually, exactly. that is what the Bible says. Yes. They are in a slippery ground and it is just a matter of time. It's like a tickling bomb. Exactly. Yeah. When it starts to blow up in their faces, mm. you will thank God you never joined. Actually, you remind me, mm. there was a time, this yes. one I had not graduated even. Mm. I was still in school. Yes. And I had gone to make my hair. And unfortunately, the money I had mm. was not enough. So mm. I was trying to bargain and te- to tell that that your hairdresser no i don't have enough money you just exempt me and she was like a beautiful girl like you you're here bargaining just because of 800 mm-hmm. shillings yes. and i say quite beautiful girls are supposed to have money and she said, no you are very beautiful mm-hmm. and men are out here you're not drilling for you yes. you can go you know now she's trying to tell me like as a beautiful do girl something as I, about do, something. do something you can Commerc- give out your body commercialize yeah? the beauty exactly <laughs> <laughs> so that it can give you returns. Yes. What can you so, say about mm? you know some people? Let me you know they say beauty is 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 vain and charm yeah. charm and beauty. Proverbs thirty one. Thirty one. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And but a woman who fears the Lord is to be treasured. Yeah. It's worth more than gold. Mm. It is better mm. to have kept yourself mm. and prosper mm. because prosperity will come. Mm. It will come. It will come. Mm. It will come. Mm. As long as you're working with God, it is the intention of God that we prosper. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But if you kept yourself along the process, because God is also, also interested in the end, is interested in the process. Yeah. Ah, are you getting there? Wow. Exactly. So instead of commercializing uh, uh, your body mm. or commercializing your time, mm. you know, you decide, you decide, let me do this so that I may see what can happen to me. Mm. And, and trying to, to sleep with the boss so you become the, 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 the assistant manager mm. and get rich mm. and get money. Mm. It is better to have kept yourself mm. for God and mm. prosper than to have misused yourself mm. and in the end of it, mm. it ends in tears. Yeah. Yes, because the way of the, uh, there's a way that seems right in the eyes of man, mm. but the end is destruction. Exactly. Actually, as a young person, yes. uh, honestly, the young people go... At, through these challenges every day maybe the last example of myself because yes. i like talking giving examples i was yes. working in a government parastatal mm. some time back and you know when you when you're working in a government parastatal mm. actually you meet rich men these people have allowances yes. yet i was just a mine mm. was a contract yes. so you can imagine i was not earning a lot some, like them mm. But you meet rich people, mm. people you know, people with bellies. Yes. You know, they even just come once mm. a week in an office. They drive, they, they, they drive good vehicles. Because. Yeah, because they have allowances. They are given per DMs. Mm. They even, you know, even per DMs are signed for them that they went to places they never went, yeah. and they're given money. Sure. So during lunchtime, these people drive away to these big hotels. Oh my God! It, yeah, and I was you have working your in Upper Hill. Feelings. Even sometimes, even you don't have that. Because if you go for lunch, you may not even have your fare back home. Yes. You understand? Yes. So most of the times during lunchtime, I could stay in the office. Yes. Yeah, or probably I could carry something maybe at work. Mm. So most of the time, I used to stay in the office. Mm. So that one time, I think this particular manager noticed I don't go, I don't go out yes. during lunchtime. Mm. And as I am, and, and, and he came. Mm. Mark you, obviously, mm. this man is, married Very because true. yeah at that he stage is. of their life they are they are yes, married with kids. kids yeah yes. because he's successful mm. and such men are at that point mm. actually they have families Very true. a single person like you you Very cannot true. have a tummy oh, no. where <laughs> from where <laughs> this is the ministry of God. <laughs> so yes yeah so he, mm. he noticed i i don't go Yes. I don't go out during lunch time. Mm-hmm. And that th- that time he, he he came to me actually and asked me, "You're not going you, you're not going for lunch." I told mm-hmm. him, "No, I'm not going." And I think he noticed uh. money, pesa, mm. pesa. You have, you yeah, so he it. told me, "Come. Let me take you to Kitengela. Twende tukule nyamachoma." Oh my. A God. very good deal. Yes. A very good deal. Mm. Actually, yeah. Let me take you to Kitengela. Twende nikununulie nyamachoma and I was like, mm. "Okay." It's not bad, and I'm hungry. Yes. Now, na, na si tu kitengela, yeah. Only that. But yeah. men never do anything for nothing. What is the catch? Mm-hmm. What is the catch? There is a price. Yes, there's a price to pay. Yeah. Because anytime you have allowed yourself to go that direction, mm. then what are you going to repay back? 
you have yeah. opened yourself mm. to the mercy of this person. Mm. The, tomorrow, if they tell you to go, you will not refuse. Mm, yeah. To, and the, that day, if they tell you after work, let's go somewhere, you mm. won't refuse. Mm. So you have opened yourself to a possibility and now you are not in control. Mm. Someone else is in control. Hey, yeah. So the best thing you can do for yourself is when such opportunities happen, mm. my dear sister, my dear brother, mm. because we two brothers feel the same. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh my God. You're you... so told by these women. Let yes. me take you. Mm. Yeah. And you know they are very rich. Actually, over time I was somewhere, mm. and a certain lady. I, that's when I knew women. You have money. <laughs> women have money. Uh -huh. So mm. she came into the office space with five different cars in the same week. Oh my God. And that was my first time I'm seeing a Mercedes Benz convertible. Mm. This country are people with money. Mm -hmm. And when. And when they happened to approach a certain brother we were with, not mm. me, mm. and then of course we know how that went. Now, mm. Mm. if when those things happen to you and they, they open up to you to possibilities you never thought existed, mm. the best thing to do is what you did. Don't go. Yeah. Just don't from go. the word go, don't yeah, compromise. From the word do, do not compromise. Because mm. if you say yes, tomorrow you won't say no. It will be so hard. And after one week. Even if you refuse to mm. sleep with them and you refuse to, to, to compromise in all those extents, mm. you will, one time, it will down on you, you'll be low in spirit. Yeah. And things will happen to a way that you'll be out of your control. Exactly. And the next time you'll be repenting. Yeah. So the best thing to do is just cut off. Remain the same way you are. Mm. Because the prosperity will come. Mm. Don't be in a rush. Right now, you can buy yourself any lunch you want. Exactly. Any nyamachoma yeah. you want. Nobody needs to take me to Kitengela. So it is better to have waited mm. and prospered in purity and with God. Exactly. Maybe if I could have accepted to go to Kitengela right now, I'll be taking, you know, yes. I'll be maybe infected with who knows yes. what. Every step yeah. of the way. God is also interested in the process of how you're going to conduct yourself in the business world. Wow. Yes. Actually, as we finish, let me quote a verse that says, David said, mm. it is better for me to fall yes. in the hands of God yes. than to fall in the hands yes. of men so men. yeah yes. so it's it's better you just you know go through that process as the man of god said yes. that god is also interested mm. in the process yes thank you so much man of god thank you so thank much. you for coming and yes. creating time for us thank you thank you for tuning in be sure to join us next time yes. god bless you